This is Blockchain Bowls, and today we are going to make an instructional guide on how I would invest $10,000 today as of right now in the market. This is not professional financial advice. This is a instructional guide as to how to observe and build a portfolio in cryptocurrency relevant to uh, March 23rd, 2021 moving forward. And so that's what this video's main objective is. If you're new to cryptocurrency, I've got a complete training course of videos right here for you on the homepage. Go to the homepage, go through here and watch these videos and you will learn about cryptocurrency. Uh, people charge for courses like this. I'm giving it away for free right here on the homepage. Uh, right here, I do have a training video on how to use Uniswap because you're going to need to learn how to use Uniswap. So uh, right there is the video. Let's get into this and talk about it. So uh, what we're going to basically do is build out a portfolio based on some uh, solid positions. We're going to skip the middle of the ground and we're just going to go right into the uh, lotto tickets. So we're going to have core position and then lotto tickets and it's going to be about 70-30. Uh, so 70% of your portfolio is your core position and that's what we're going to talk about here. And then 30% of your portfolio is going to be in uh, lotto tickets. And all, honestly, you will notice that some of these lotto tickets are going to outperform the other one. So let's talk about the positions that you're going to take out. So the very first one that you're going to do is Bitcoin. And this is your core position. You're just going to take out a nice solid position in Bitcoin. Uh, $3,000 worth, as you can see right here. So we're going to get $3,000 worth of Bitcoin at 55,000 thereabouts. Well, it's now at 789. When I was making this uh, chart, it was at around 50,000 and it's going up. So this right here is just like, this is a solid uh, long-term pick. Uh, this is where most people end up needing to be anyway. So getting 30% of your position into Bitcoin uh, is more of a solid position. You guys already know about that, uh, how to get it and everything. So I'm not going to harp too much on Bitcoin, but that's your first one you're going to get. About 30% of that $10,000, $3,000 is going to go into Bitcoin. The next one we're going to put you into is going to be Cardano. And Cardano, the reason I like this one, uh, these are all on dips. So Cardano has been as high as $1.40 something here recently. It just got listed on Coinbase. It's pretty easy. This is a retail investor's favorite. We're going to get you 20% of your portfolio is going to be in Cardano. And that's been as high as $1.45. So getting it at $1.15, it's kind of a no-brainer at this point. Um, you know, it, it just seems like in a bull market, Cardano is going to be a solid pickup for you. There's a huge community already behind it. And uh, if you don't know much about Cardano, we've got a couple videos on this channel that you can watch. Uh, it's a smart contract developer platform. And, uh, you know, they just keep innovating and building in the in the space. And this thing could be huge one day. Huge. It's it's big now, but it could be huge one day. So uh, getting 20% of your position into Cardano. Now, 50% of your position is in two solid projects. We're going to give you one more that's really solid, in my opinion. Notice we're skipping Ethereum. Some people would say that's crazy, but I think it's okay if we skip Ethereum for now. And we're going to go into Polkadot. So Polkadot, you get on Kraken. You can get it on Crypto.com. I will try to put some links in the description below to Coinbase, to uh, Kraken, to Crypto.com, Binance US. Links in the description to pick up some of these uh, projects because some of them are going to be available on different uh, exchanges. So Polkadot is going to round out the other uh, final 70% of your solid core position. And uh, right now, you know, this thing's been as high as $41. You're picking it up for $35. It's kind of like Cardano. It's got a different tokenomic set, you can see. Uh, but again, similar market cap. In fact, Cardano's got a higher market cap. This is really what you guys need to be focusing on is the market capitalization, not necessarily the price because the tokenomics vary. Tokenomics are basically the amount of circulating supply divided by market cap, which gives you the price per coin. So if you're if you're thinking that something that's below a dollar is uh, worth less and has more op opportunity to move up than something, say, valued at $35, you're wrong because the market cap is what matters the most. So pay attention to market cap, guys, because <laughs> the tokenomics, the circulating supply, 
divided into market cap is where you need to be looking. So uh, we've talked about Polkadot on this channel a couple times. Again, you can go to the homepage. You'll see there is a lot of content related to uh, Polkadot on here. We got Polkadot Explained. Also Kusama, which has probably been the most surprised pick that I ever got. I mean, I when I bought this, I had no idea it was going to be as valuable as it is. Um, so that's been interesting. But again, Cardano versus Polkadot, if you want the full tutorial right there, just go right there under coin comparisons and watch right there. All right, so now we're going to get into the fun stuff. And I say the fun stuff because this is where you can make some serious wealth. So this is a new currency that I just entered into. This is what I bought here recently, so I'm telling you about it. Unfortunately for you, it's up big time. Fortunately for me, it's up uh, since I bought it. Uh, but this one's called Digital Reserve Currency. It's hard to get a full market cap on this one right now, but it's only 13 million. Uh, this one reminds me of R RSR, Ready um, Reserve Rights Token or coin. Uh, so I would say take a good hard look at this and you'll notice that it's actually, for a $13 million market cap, it's got a lot of good publicity. Even Yahoo Finance has talked about it. This one might just get you the most excited. November 29th, it was talked about. Uh, he actually is located in Washington, D.C., Maxim Nurov. So, I mean, he's right there in D.C. And look at the name, Digital Reserve Currency. So, uh, this could be something that's uh, really interesting for you guys to take a look at. Getting in, it, getting in on it early. Uh, I would say is something interesting. Also, you you will notice he's done a few interviews. So before you even invest in it, go listen to a couple of his interviews. Just type in his name, Maxim Nurov, and you'll get a lot of interviews about what he has to say and understand how articulate he is and his financial literacy. And that might just get you most excited about this project. This actually came to us from our community uh, on our last video. So um, you know, these here right now are going to be your more high risk, high reward. They're lotto tickets, they're unicorns. But if something like this executes on it, I mean, and it goes to a billion dollar plus market cap, getting in at $13 million, you could be like, you know, I mean, this is where you're going to build your wealth, some, a project like this, if this ends up taking off. So if you guys follow this channel, you know that we've talked about OVR, which I think we were talking about OVR around like, I don't know, 20 cents, and now it's at like 220. Well, how about the next OVR? Something like Etherland, Eland. I really like this project. I went to their website. I've been checking it out a little bit more, Eland Atlas. Uh, I did a little bit of research on it. This is definitely, I need to know more about the founders before I get super duper excited about it, but it does have that um, OVR vibe to it. And I really like what they're building. Uh, the only thing that they don't, I don't see an application yet. Uh, these are going to be picked up on Uniswap, guys, by the way. You'll notice right here I've highlighted Uniswap. You're going to need to learn Uniswap for these three right here. But Eland Atlas, I think, is something that you're going to want to pay attention to. Connecting the Ethereum blockchain ecosystem with digital items of real-world places. And so you can also, I believe this is also connected with the Binance Smart Chain as well. So they're already in that uh, spectrum. So smart contracts, NFTs, decentralized finance. This does remind me a lot of OVR uh, when we got into it really early. So uh, if you're looking for a project, <laughs> I mean, this is what I'm saying. A thousand into this, a thousand into DRC, a thousand into uh, uh, Essentia, which is our next one. Or you could just pick one and do 3,000 into one, but I usually spread it out a little bit. So here's Essentia. Now, full disclaimer, these guys did, as of today, reach out to me. They saw that I talked about it on another video. They did just now reach out to me for the first time today, send me an email. I said I'd like to jump on a phone call with them to understand exactly more about what they're working on. But uh, that would be uh, the first time I've actually talked to them if I do get on a call with them. Uh, but they are interested in sponsoring the channel. I guess they saw the video. I don't know. Or they're just reaching out. But um, I still am excited about this project. Nothing's changed. For me, at $11 million market cap, I'm still looking at it as a buying opportunity, uh, well under a penny for this one, $11 million market cap, like I said. And we're just gonna see what they're, they've got going on. And we've talked about this with the yield farming, the all-in-one toolbox, but what I like about it also is the masternodes. So pretty much everyone who's getting into this is getting into the masternodes. <laughs> this is like the big thing that they really care about. And this essential Essentia is your personal toolbox for interoperable crypto, 
which is also going to be really popular cross train blockchain transactions, uh, multi layer security layers. And you can see they've got the app coming out, which is going to be really important. And this is what gets me excited when they have a working product because it costs a lot of money to build an app. And so the fact that they've made that investment, they're already building it. This one actually looks like you could get on Uniswap, Bitfinex, Balaxi, and Hotbit. Hotbit's kind of like an exchange that you don't want to hold too much currency on. I'd rather hold these on a wallet, but if I do need to make cheap transactions, Hotbit can work. Uh, now, I just, I don't know how much I can trust Hotbit because, you know, for those of you who've been around for a while, you know that rug pulls can happen on exchanges. I'm not saying that Hotbit's going to pull a rug, but it's located somewhere in, I think, Hong Kong. And we've had a couple problems with uh, Hong Kong exchanges in the past or Hong Kong projects. Obviously, a lot of them are legit, but, you know, Hotbit so far has proven to be pretty legit, though. So try Essentia now. Like I said, Mac, Windows, Linux, and then the app is coming soon. So that's exciting, kind of like what we saw with PPay. So just in summary here. You've got basically this concept. You've got 3,000 going into Bitcoin at 55,000, Cardano at 116. You've got $2,000 going into it, Polkadot $2,000 at $35 per coin. Remember, market cap counts more than price per coin, guys. But this is what your entry price would be as of the time I was making this uh, spreadsheet here. Now I'm saying DRC 1,000 here, Essentia 1,000 there. Ethland. On Uniswap, you're going to pay uh, 50 to $100 in fees just to get that. So you're going to notice that 1000 is going to turn into 900 But if these things 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, who knows what they do, it basically offsets the fees pretty, pretty quickly. Most people are thrown off when they're on Uniswap and they're getting hit with those fees. Although we do have Uniswap rolling out a solution to the high fees. And we also have ETH 2.0 coming out soon. So there should be some solutions, remedies to these high fees on Uniswap. Can't happen soon enough. And when that does happen, it would be exciting to imagine what could happen to some of these super low cap coins that we've been talking about on this channel that I would assume some of you are already holding. So anyways, guys, like I said, go to the homepage here, watch some of the videos. I've got a Cardano vs. Polkadot. You'll want to watch that because we just talked about that. I've got Polkadot explained more in detail. <laughs> Theta coin has been amazing. I talked about this three months ago back when Theta was around a dollar four and now it's sitting at what thirteen dollars or something like that. Uh, it's just amazing what that price has done. Same with uh, Kusama. I talked about it two months ago to perform and uh, you know <laughs> sometimes you just get lucky as a YouTuber and you talk you start making videos and then in a bull market you look like a genius because things start going up but in reality it's just the signs of a bull market so uh, that's what I would encourage you guys to realize but I did recommend crypto training videos, how not to get wrecked investing in cryptocurrency, warning do not buy these projects, what is staking crypto, how to use Uniswap, understanding uh, how to research, what is market cap, best exchanges for US citizens, and I've got all the links there in the description for you, how to get started in cryptocurrency. So we'll see you guys on the next one, and thanks to all the new subscribers. Mm -hmm.